Beginning in December, as a matter of fact, December 1st, the FDA's pedigree provision for drugs kicked in, and it requires drug distributors to provide documentation on the chain of custody of drug products from the plant to a pharmacist's shelves. Secure Symbology's track and trace system is an innovation that keeps drugs safe from counterfeit, meets regulatory requirements, and most importantly for drug companies, it's very cost efficient. Here to tell us how all of this works is Graham Sampson. He's the CEO of Secure Symbology. Nice to have you here. Welcome. Nice to be here. You've solved a lot of problems from what it just sounds like in that introduction because this is a big problem. It's a $500 billion market for pharmaceuticals, but counterfeiting is eating into that. Yes, it is. It's eating into it substantially. It's uh, reports state that counterfeiting in the pharmaceutical industry is approximately about a $50 billion problem. So how does this particular device work and how does it solve that problem? It's, it looks like an RF code to me, but it's more than that, obviously. Yes, it is. What it is, is in technical terms, it is a serialized 2D composite barcode. And what it does is it uses the existing uh, scanner technology infrastructure that exists today in a secure web uplink. Mm -hmm. And this technology is available throughout all pharmacies in America today. And uh, what it does is that it puts a unique serial number on that package that you see there. And that one bottle is the only bottle in the world with that serial number on it. And we track it through the entire supply chain as it goes through a series of scanners all the way through to the point of sale. Mm -hmm. And as I understand it, you know, we've been talking a lot about the E. coli scare and tracing not just pharmaceuticals like this, but also other things. And you've been working with Homeland Security on that front in terms of being able to trace larger shipments and individual components of that shipment, correct? Yes, that's correct. Yes, uh, in, in cooperation who with uh, uh, our first ho director of Homeland Security, Tom Ridge, who is now a board member of ours, mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, been working seriously on the Homeland Security issue in being able to track 100% of the containers that come into the United States so that we can stem the counterfeiting problem that does come across our ports. How has the pharmaceutical industry responded? Because they've been under a lot of pressure to implement some sort of system to prevent counterfeiting. Um, I know you've been talking with Cardinal Health, but have you found them generally receptive to the technology itself? Well, they are a very innovative packaging firm uh, who has supported the pharmaceutical manufacturers worldwide for a very long time. And they're very anxious to look for a uh, innovative technology that would keep them a leader in the industry. Uh, back when Ronald Reagan was president, mm -hmm. the FDA demanded that the pharmaceutical manufacturers guarantee the pedigree of, through their supply chain. So this is not a new issue, but one that uh, has finally come to a culmination where we have a technology that's now going to be able to support those FDA mandates. Yeah, and, and also help with public safety. What about cost issue? Does it, how much does it cost to do this type or implement this type of technology for a company? It's, uh, that's the beauty of the system. It's virtually just a couple of pennies. Uh, the major reason for that is that we're utilizing the existing barcode scanner infrastructure mm -hmm. and using uh, a secure web uplink. So the cost, which is always borne by the consumer, becomes, yes. a, becomes a very minimal expense. And uh, therefore, the value of the uh, guaranteeing a pedigree of a drug, because that's particularly sensitive for cardiac patients, diabetics, those with life-threatening illnesses, who depend upon quality medications for their uh, you know, quality of life. Yeah, especially with all the talk about more drug importation and you know, negotiating down costs of drugs. The, uh, there's been a lot of talk that counterfeiting will go way up rather than, than down. So best of luck, Mr. Sampson. Nice to have you here. Thank you very Pleasure much. Pleasure to see you and talk with you this afternoon. Quick break, and then Nortel, well,